Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about a new type of content block available in Squarespace known as an accordion. This type of content block is commonly seen for things like FAQs, and when you click on a title inside this block, it will expand to show more text underneath it. So this new feature is super easy to add to your Squarespace website and to customize. It has its own design menu, so let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how it works. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site. I'm going to hop into edit mode on this individual page and let's scroll down a bit. Here I've outlined the steps for how we're going to create this accordion content block. I'm just going to click the plus sign right here to add a content block to this section. And on the list of options, you'll see accordion right down here. I'm going to click on that and it'll place an accordion block in my site with a bunch of demo content. Now let's take a look at how to edit this content. If I click into an individual item, here I can change the title to anything I want. And underneath it, we have the description text. You can see as soon as I'm highlighting over this text, I can make some of it bold if I want to, I can make it italicized, and I can even add an active link by clicking on that icon right there. This will allow me to link to a different page on my website or anything on the World Wide Web. Now, after you have all of your content done, I'm going to go ahead and click back and you can see it's automatically been updated and saved. You can also add another item just by clicking that option there. And again, click in to change the title and the description to anything you want it to be. Now let's talk about this design menu. Checking out the design menu, here we can actually change the style of the text for the title and the description. We also have the option to expand the first item, which means as soon as the page loads, this first item will be open. Toggling this on, we can actually have multiple items open if we want to make sure that all of the content is visible. Otherwise, the content will collapse when you click on a new item. We also have the dividers turned on. I can turn that off if I don't want those lines at all. And I can also use this to change the style. I don't have to have one at the very top or the very bottom if I don't want to. And underneath that, this is where we adjust the thickness of the line. Let's say you want the lines to be really thick or clicking on these three dots, you can manually adjust it to whatever pixel width you're comfortable with. Underneath that, we have opacity. This is the transparency of that line. So that's how you would adjust that, just by using the slider right here. Lots of fun options. I'll go ahead and toggle these back on, and we'll just leave it at small, because I like the look of that. All right, let's head back here and check it out. We've got a few more options. We have the plus icon selected. You can also choose arrow. You'll notice when the first one is open there, the arrow points up, if the item is expanded, the arrow points down if it's collapsed. We can also use these to change the size and thickness of the icon, changing that to large if we want to, making it a little bit thicker. And again, we have these three dot options here, just like we had with the line style to adjust the thickness. Here we just use these plus and minus signs instead to change the actual pixel width of that icon. Icon placement, this is pretty self-explanatory here. The left arrow will place it before the title on the left. That right arrow will place it at the far end. And then here we have padding. This just adjusts the actual amount of space between the text and the lines. So row padding, you can have it really big, so there's a lot of space between the actual title text and the divider lines, or you can have it really small, totally up to you. So scrolling back up here, let's check this out really quickly. The title is set to heading four, but if I click into here, I can actually select any other type of font on my website, maybe just paragraph one or heading two if I want it to be really big. You also can change the alignment here, adjusting this to the left, the center, or the right. Pretty cool, right? And then underneath that, we have description. Here you have the option to choose which type of paragraph font you want. And then underneath that, this is where we adjust how that's actually displayed. Let's say you want it to be in the very center or the far right. We can adjust the placement. The alignment is the option above that. This will align the text to the right, middle, or left. And then we have padding and width. Again, selecting some of the presets here or using those three dots to manually adjust this to however you'd like. Now you'll see as soon as I'm changing this, we're getting a few more options down here. Because it's not 100% width, now I can change the alignment and the placement. Pretty interesting, right? Definitely explore this menu until it suits the style that you're going for for your own website. I'll go ahead and go back, and I just want to show you one last time how we got to all of this awesome content. If I click this plus sign, I can select accordion, and that will create a brand new accordion block. Let's just put one more on top of there. All right, so now that I have this accordion block, I can click into the individual items to change the title, the description, and as soon as I highlight over description text, I can have bold, italic, underlined, or an active link if there if I want to. Heading back here, if we select add item, that'll put another item in the accordion list. 
And I realized I totally forgot to mention, if we select edit, this is how you rearrange those items. So let's say you add a new item, but you want it to be first. Selecting edit on the top right hand side here is how you rearrange those. Okay, cool. Hopping into design, this is where you can change the style of text for the title and description. For title, you can pick any text types from your headings or your paragraphs. For description, you can select paragraph one, two, or three. Then underneath that, we've got all kinds of options for how it's actually displayed on the site. The first item can be expanded as soon as the page loads. You can have multiple items open, change the dividers. Currently they're set to on, but you can remove those if you don't want to. Show first and last and adjust the thickness and opacity. Underneath that, we have the icon, have it be a plus sign or an arrow, totally up to you. Adjust the size and the thickness and the placement of that icon and the padding for the actual content itself. Lots of fun options to explore. Now, whatever you decide to do, just make sure you select save on the top left hand side of your page when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this quick introduction to accordion blocks now available inside Squarespace. There are a few more things you can do to customize them beyond that design menu we just checked out, and I have links to additional tutorial videos in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.